Little, little rock planet of real ice guy. He's roly poly yoli. He's small and smart and round. And in the land of curves and curls, he's the swellest kid around. Howdy. Howdy. Hooray. Hooray. And in the land of curves and curls, he's the swellest kid around. He's roly poly yoli. He's small and smart and round. And in the land of curves and curls, he's the swellest kid around. friends. Really? You betcha. Besides, you'll already have one friend. Who? Cutie. Cutie be at school? Sure thing, Zoe. You can take her with you in your backpack. What else at school, Ole? Lots of fun things. I can show you if you want. Right here at Ole Polly's Play School. Gee, Whirlickers, you two sure are up and at them early for a Sunday. <sighs> That's because today's not Sunday, Dad. Not Sunday? Nope. Today's Zoe's first day at Oli Poli's Play School. Right, Zoe? <laughs> oh, Oli Poli's Play School? Yep. I'm going to show Zoe that there's nothing to be afraid of on her first day. And we could sure use some more students. Hmm. Okie dokie. I'll be Little Dad. Ooh, and you can call me Mini Mom. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> Good morning, everybody. I'm Mr. Oli, and I'll be your teacher for today. Good morning, morning Mr. Mr. Oli. <laughs> Hello. Okie dokie. Now that you know who I am, let's find out who you are. First, we're going to pass around the talking crown. Whoever's wearing it gets a special turn to speak. Okie dokie. Okie dokie, Mr. Oli. Oli. Just tell us your name and some fun things you like to do. Who wants to go first? I suppose I could go first, Mr. Oli. My name is Little Dad, and in my book, nothing tops building gadgets and watching my digs. Super dee duper. Who wants to go next? Loki. Ooh, ooh, I'll give it a whirl. <laughs> My name is oh, Mini Mom, and I like bowling and playing the drums. A big Oli Poli Play School hello to Little Dad and Mini Mom. <laughs> hello to you, too. Woof. Woof, no wanna talk. That's okie dokie. Maybe Woof's feeling a little shy. I'm sure he'll talk more when he feels ready. <gasps> um, me, Zoe Poli. Um, me like books, toys, playing, and cutie. <laughs> Hi, Hi, Zoe. Hi, 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 cutie. Hi, cutie. <laughs> so now that we all know each other, How's about a little playtime? Now you're talking. Play, play, play! <laughs> hmm. 
I think that if I place this block here as the refossilator and place this one here as a counterweight to the rejiggerator, well, this baby could really fly. <laughs> the sound effect, Zoe. You're welcome, little dad. It's fun to help Gwen. Yay! Me help little dad and only help many mom. But where Wolf? <laughs> <laughs> Looks like Wolf needs a little help learning to help friends. <laughs> <laughs> Bouncy ball who loved to bounce all day, but when the big bots went outside, he didn't get to play. So we know that story. You want to read the story with me, Zo? You can wear the talking crown. Okie dokie. <laughs> Little Bouncy, he's so sad. His friends they gone away. Then Baby pick up Bouncy ball and boing 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 all day. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like Wolf's so tuckered out, he's ready for nap time. No nappy time, Mr. Rowley. School fun, fun, fun! You know, Zoe, I think school's just about over for today. But me no want school over. Don't worry, you get to go back to school tomorrow, remember? Yeah, remember! Well, I think it's about time Big Mom got dinner started. Want to give me a helping hand, Big Dad? In a minute, hon. Little Dad doesn't want school to be over quite yet, either. Guess our little bot's not a baby anymore, sweetums. She's all set for her first day of school. Oopsie! Me forget something. Oh, what's that, sweetums? You've got cutie. Me want to take one more favorite thing. Oli! You want me school, Oli? You betcha, Zo. Right to your classroom door. <laughs> <laughs> Here, way up high in the roly-poly sky, is Mr. Sunny. Now, who can show the class where Planet Poly is on the map? I can, Miss Triangle. Shoot for the stars, Oli. Here's Planet Polly. <gasps> <laughs> oh, dear. You can always tell, because it looks like a little polka dot. In that case, you've got a whole bunch of Planet Polly showing, Oli. <laughs> <laughs> What's so funny? I see far, I see near. I see Oli's undergear. <laughs> <gasps> Don't be embarrassed, Oli. Why don't you go to the principal's office? I'm sure they have an extra pair of pants you can wear. Okie dokie. <laughs> um, sorry for laughing at you in class, Oli. Me too. But it was kind of funny, don't you think? I bet you guys wouldn't think it was so funny if it happened to you. <laughs> this is the worstest day of my roly-poly life! Holy, <laughs> what are you doing in Betty, buddy? I think I got the sneezies. Uh, uh, chew! 
Oh. Well, the sniffle and sneezes will knock a bot on his back, all right. Guess I can go to school tomorrow. <laughs> well, why don't you let your old pop take a peek first, hmm? Your orb doesn't feel warm. Maybe done on the outside, but it's real hot in here. Open wide. Uh, Your dipstick's looped. Uh, Gaskets look good. Better check that ticker. Purring like a kitten. Well, this is a real head scratcher, son. Here you go, Zoe. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Oh, goodness. Your brother must have been in a hurry to get upstairs. He left his school bag on the floor. <gasps> what in the roly round world? Oh, you have Polly and pants. <laughs> now, Zoe, when Oli comes downstairs, don't tease him. Looks like your big brother had a blinking beacon day. I think we've got a young bot upstairs with a bad case of the fakey flu. Could this be the cause? Yep. Nothing will make a bot want to skip school more than a pair of drafty drawers. Well, I think I might have the cure for what's ailing Oli. <laughs> oh, sorry you're in the downy dumps, honey bunch. Because I was going to tell you a rip tickling tale. What about? Oh, about the time I saw Chunk Squarey rip his pants on stage. Really? I think Oli's a little too sick for a funny story. You know, <coughs> I might have a little story listening strength left. Well, it was one night a few years back. Chunk Squarey was playing a concert right here in Polyville. And the Polyville Palladium was yeah. packed. Baby, let's twirl! But when the chunk ripped his pants, gosh, oh golly, you could have heard a pulley pin drop. Hmm. It's the crazy dance that'll split your pants. Come on, everybody, do the splits! And that's how Chunk Squarey turned a blinking beacon day into a dance craze. But Chunk Squarey's a big star. Nobody would laugh at him. I bet it wouldn't be so easy if it happened to an ordinary bot. Well, I know an ordinary bot who once had his beacon blazing with embarrassment. Who was he? Matter of fact, it was me. Yep, it was one summer many years ago. Pappy told your Uncle Gizmy to get the yard in tip-top ship shape while he spruced up Mr. Scarecrow with some new summer duds. Oh. Golly, Giz, I'm hot as an ungreased flywheel. Oh, I'm feeling like an overheated hound dog myself. Hmm. Those tune crooning guppies make that water look extra cool. Uh-huh. You think Pappy would let us go steely dipping? Well, this was a great idea, fellas. Nothing like a little dip on a hot day to make you forget your cares. Hey, Clippy, where are you going with our duds? It looks like one of us is going to have to get out and go get our get-ups. You will anybody home? Aunt Holiana's here. <gasps> Uh-oh. Percy? Gizmo! Where'd you box skedaddle to? <laughs> <laughs> I bet your beacon was blinking that day, Dad. <laughs> sure was. So, what'd you do? Well, the only thing that was left to do. We laughed. Oh, I guess everybody looks silly once in a while, wouldn't you say, Dad? Yep. And all you can do is join in and <laughs> have a chuckle at your own silly -ossitude. I have a funny story, too. <laughs> it all started today at school. Remember, don't say anything to Oli about him splitting his pants. Yeah, he was really in the downy dumps about it. Hey, here comes Mr. Undergear now. Screwy. It's okie dokie, everybody. <laughs> I did look pretty funny yesterday, especially when those big old pants fell down. Hey, maybe I should invent a new dance. The Droopy Pants Dance. Woohoo! <laughs> <laughs> Golly, you sure are a good sport about it, Oli. Well, everybody looks silly sometimes. 
All you can do is laugh at yourself. Hey, if you think that's funny, one time I kicked a soccer ball so hard, my shoe came off and got stuck way up in a tree. <laughs> <laughs> so I had to hop on one foot all the way home. <laughs> <laughs> Careful, Zoe. This pumpkin pie is piping hot. So we love Tango Day. Oh, me too, hun. But Thank You Day is more than just pie and turkey and all the trimmings. Whippy Queen, too! <laughs> you see, Zoe, Thank You Day is the special time of the year when we think about all our blessings and say <coughs> thank you. What blessing, Mommy? Well, a blessing is something that you're super duper lucky to have. Like you, sweetums. Me blessing? Oh, you betcha. I'm grateful to have a sweet little bot like you. <laughs> Especially one who picked up her toys this morning. So, thank you. So we understand. Thank you, Mommy, for making Punky Pie and Whippy Queen. Well, thank you for the thank you. And thank you for being fastest mommy ever. Oh, goodness, Zoe. I'm about all thanked out. <gasps> of course. Pretty flowers for the centerpiece. Be right back, sweetie. <laughs> Mommy forgot. Thank you, Chili and Stovey, Shuggy, Mixie, and Milky. <laughs> And the Spacey's Thank You Day Parade is just about to begin. Led by our Grand Marshal, Space Boy. Space Boy? Thank you, Orly. For what, Zoe? For playing tea party and teaching Boinky Ball and reading stories and letting Zoe play pirates with you and Billy? <laughs> and, whoa, Zoe, let me get in a thank you, too. Like, thank you for being a humdinger of a little oh. sister. Zoe Humdingo? The humdingliest. Now, why don't you sit on couch with me and we'll watch the parade together? No, thank you, Oli. Me say thank you to Daddy now. Okie dokie, see you later. And here comes Space Boy now. <gasps> Oli forgot something. Uh, not now, Zoe. The parade's starting. Thank you for being comfy, Couchy. Thank you for pretty pictures, Kelly. Yes, sirree. Nothing like a fresh sheen on your green, I always say. Daddy, daddy, daddy! Well, hey there, Sweet Pea. What's got your sparkles spinning? Tanku Day! We say thank you to Daddy for piggyback rides and ticklies. <laughs> well, thank you, too, for all your little girly gigglies. How about one more in honor of Thank You Day, huh? <laughs> Well, Honeybot, I gotta finish polishing the lawn before the big thank you day feast. Okie dokie, Daddy. Well, looky there. I'm all done. Come on, Zoe. Thank you, lawn polisher. Well, I guess I am a pretty dandy lawn polisher, aren't I? But there's no need to thank me, Sweet Pea. It's just something grown ups do. about you, little bots, but your pappy can't wait to start gobbling some thank you day grub. <laughs> Looks like Spot can't wait for us to start spilling it. <laughs> <laughs> thank you for being good like a rapper, Spot. Mmm, <laughs> yum, yum, yummy. That's one beautiful bird. Thank you, Pappy. I just hope it stays sunny for our thank you day feast. Before we dig in, there's one more thank you we need to say, and it's the most important thank you of all. Thank you to everyone at this table for being a wonderful family and for making this the best thank you day ever. We polies are truly blessed. Darn toot. So, um, are there any more thank yous? <laughs> Tummy needs a fill-up, does it, son? All thank yous accounted for. Let the feasting begin. 
Who wants the first lip smack and slice? Huh? What in blue blazes is going on? Ooh, food doesn't look so yummy when it's blue. Even the punky pie looks kind of funky. Ooh, what happened to our sunny day? Gosh, I wonder what could have made Mr. Sunny so blue. say thank you to Mr. Sunny. She's right. None of us remember to thank that big old ball of brightness. We've hurt Mr. Sunny's feelings. But how do we make it up to him? So we know. Hey, Mr. Sunny! We all made up a little poem for you. Um, Dad? <coughs> Dear Mr. Sunny, we're sorry you're so blue. You give us warmth, you give us light, you give us flowers, too. But since it kind of slipped our minds, there's just one thing to do. We're going to count our blessings and tell you this. <laughs> Thank you! You're welcome. I guess there's a lot of stuff we forgot to be thankful for. We couldn't have made our feast without each and every one of you. Thanks a bunch, buddies. Thank you. You're one hard-working hunk of hardware, little buddy. Oh, thank you. And I thank you for it. Watching Space Boy just wouldn't be the same without you. Thank you. Thanks, Space Pals. Thank you. Thank you, Flower. Thank you. Thank you, Trey. Oh, thank you. Thank you for Tweety Tweety. Thank you. And you and you thank and you. Thank you, Pretty Ladybug. Thank you. Thank you, Sky. Thank you. Thank you, everything. All right, let's chow down. Oh, wait, Oli. Aren't we forgetting something? Oh, yeah. <laughs> right. Thank, Thank you! you. <laughs>